Hello, my name is Samuel Keith Harris and welcome back to another episode of Morning Devotionals. Let's start our day with Jesus. So if you want to follow along, I'm going to be in Psalm chapter 119 again. Psalm chapter 119 and I'll be in verse 33, but let's pray. Father, I thank you that we can come into your presence this morning and hear from your precious holy word. Lord, you truly are great and you revive us by your word and you make us holy by your own blood and may we be great examples of who you really are. May we shine as the light of the world as Christ lives in us. He is the hope of glory. It's in your precious holy name we pray. Form Christ in us and give us understanding. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Psalm chapter 119 and verse 33. The Bible says, Teach me your decrees, O Lord. So here we go, another day of the heart posture of, Lord, teach me your decrees. I will keep them to the end. I will keep them to the end. And we know the Bible says in another place, he who endures to the end will be saved. We want to be those who endure to the end, who remain pure to the end, whose love never grows cold, but we're always fervent and zealous for the Lord with wisdom and tender to the Lord and loving him with a sincere heart that just wants to know Jesus more. I mean, there's, it's just so beautiful. And I pray that would be imparted to you, Father, that, that the person who's listening right now would, would, would develop such a deep relationship with you as they go about their day, speaking to you, talking with you, communing with you, Father, and that you'd speak into their spirit, that you would remind them of the word of God as they go about their day, and it would work itself out practically in their life. And so let's go to verse 34. Give me understanding and I will obey your instructions. I love that. Lord, if you will just give us understanding, we will obey your instructions. We'll obey what you teach us. I will put them into practice with all my heart. Oh, this is so beautiful. Is that your heart cry today? Lord, if you teach me, I'll put your word into practice with all my heart. Let that be our heart's pursuit. I will put your word into practice. I'll put your instructions into practice. I won't just do it, but I'll do it with all my heart. Verse 35, make me walk along the path of your commands, for that is where my happiness is found. True joy is found in the godly life. I heard a quote the other day from a friend. They said, joy is the true hallmark of genuine spirituality. Joy is the hallmark of genuine spirituality. When someone is truly intimate with the Lord and truly knows the Lord, they radiate with joy, even in some of the worst circumstances. Verse 36, give me an eagerness for your laws rather than a love for money. You see, most Christians are content to just have a love for money, but I love this. It says, give me an eagerness for your laws. And if you don't have an eagerness for the commands of God and the word of God, ask. Is that not what's happening in the scriptures? He's saying here, give me an eagerness for your laws and um, rather than a love for money. And it shows you those two are always fighting each other. They're waging war against your soul. True desire for God or true desire to prosper financially. And we need to have such a desire and an eagerness for his laws rather than a love for money. Verse 37, turn my eyes from worthless things and give me life through your word. Don't put your eyes on worthless things today, worthless TV shows that that put sin into your mind, but come to the word of God and get life through it. Give me life, Lord, through your word. Verse 38, reassure me of your promise made to those who fear you. Reassure me of your promise, God, made to those who fear you. Help me abandon my shameful ways for your regulations are good. Do you acknowledge that the Lord's commands are good? And do you struggle with living in sin? Well, pray this with me. Lord, help me abandon my shameful ways, for I know your regulations are good. Tell the Lord that and then ask him for help. Ask the Holy Spirit to purify you and clean you and cleanse you and make you new through the blood of Jesus. And ask the Lord to put a holy desire for his word inside of your heart. And may you pursue him with all of your heart today. Verse 40. I long to obey your commandments. Lord, let that be inside of us. May we long to obey your commandments. Renew my life with your goodness. 
Lord, renew our lives with your goodness. Father, I thank you that we could come into your presence today and read more of your word. I thank you for empowering us and quickening us to obey the word of God and to live in fellowship and communion with you, Holy Spirit, so that we can know you better and look more like Jesus. It's in your precious holy name I pray. Amen. I thank you for watching. May you be encouraged to live in Christ today, and I will see you next time.